We're taking another look at the 2024 recruiting class, and we're going to shine a spotlight on four-star quarterback, Demarcus Davis, who signed with Washington. We're going to look at his highlights. We're going to look at his 24-7 sports player profile page. Before we do that, you need to click that subscribe button right now because we're covering these players every day this offseason from the 2024 recruiting class. You need to know what your players look like for when they start hitting the field. This is the perfect spot to learn about your players. But here's this 24-7 sports player profile page. If you're here for just the highlights, fast forward a few minutes, you will get there. But 24-7 Sports has him rated as a four-star recruit, ranked 17th among quarterbacks, 17th in the composite. So he is up there in the rankings. He's already enrolled with the Washington Huskies, 6'4 and a half, 190 pounds. He saw nine offers, but we got some Power 5 programs looking at him. We do not have a scouting report, but moving on here, we hit the transfer portal in January, but we withdrew just a few days later. That being said, we're locked in with Washington. Of course, we're enrolled. Last year, 2,600 yards, 25 touchdowns. Year prior, 3,300, 21 touchdowns. Four-star prospect going over to On3. On3 has him as a four-star. ESPN and Rivals has him as a three-star. On3 has him as the eighth best quarterback in the class. When it comes to preference, a lot of people like On3 over to the rest of the sites. On3 and 24-7 sports, those two are my main squeezes. And I look at both of them and I toggle back and forth. The fact that they have them at 8, that's a big deal to me. That makes me want to look into them a little higher. That being said, I'm very intrigued due to that ranking. He's a 4-star, considered one of the top quarterbacks in the class regardless six foot four and a half 190 is where they got them listed at arizona oregon state washington minnesota byu so good schools looking at him that being said let's take a look at the tape let's see what he's working with five minutes and 32 seconds let's let it rip let me know what you think about him in the comments below balls in the air okay the cameraman just missed that one feels like we'll take a mulligan on that first one Due to technical area, or error by the cameraman. Ball getting downfield in front of his wide receiver. We're moving. We're moving. We got some mobility there. It's a good thing to note. Seeing the guys in motion. Staying strong in the pocket. He's got a little moon ball to him. Stepping back. Off his reads. There we go. A little window there. Good anticipation. Moving around with his eyes, you see that? We're not locking on. There he is again. Boom. Quick decisions. He was looking right over here and moved over and threw it quick. Right when he saw his guy. He could be holding somebody or he just saw it and ripped it. Either way, something to note. Moving. You want to show, show off the mobility here? We're going to show off the legs. Eyes downfield. We're going to throw on the run. Getting out quick. Everything seems fluid. What's the release? Gets out quick. Gets out to his guy. Let's see some deep balls here. Boom. Yeah, he can run a bit. Gets it downfield. Quick decisions. His tape might be a mix between his senior and junior seasons. I do that a lot with a lot of prospects if they don't give me much during their senior season. Ball's downfield, but we're seeing the errors there. We're seeing the arm. Downfield. There we go. Difference from highlights and games. Games, you'll just see the basics, which you'll show you more. Highlights, you'll see some of the top end stuff. You're seeing more speed on this. And that's why I kind of split up the tape. I'll throw it together. 
out front of this guy, you get all the looks. As many looks as I can give it to you. I mean, I can give it to you a little bit more, I guess, but... We just need to make an assessment. He's out there by the sideline. Making a reads. He's moving around on his reads. That's a good thing. Seems like he's pretty quick at it. It's very subjective, too, because you don't know... The play call, you don't know his motives, but you know it's there. you got to have all 22. We're looking quick off the highlights, but it's there. He's moving. Ball's getting downfield with accuracy. Now we're on the run. Getting the ball out there. I think we got some upside here. Quick decision maker. Cerebral, smart. Gets the ball downfield with accuracy. Stands tall in the pocket. Good quarterback prospect. Gets out there. Fires it. I think he's got the intangibles to get it done. He's just got to get better from here. And that's with almost all quarterback prospects coming out of high school. They're never finished products. Shouldn't be. Even Arch Manning wasn't. And you saw how heralded he was. A little thin. You could say that. But again, we're going to put on some man weight. Or should. We'll be at a college program. He should be doing that. I think... 90% of the high school players got to do that anyways. Not too worried about that. But I'll note it just to note it. Someone will note it in the comments anyways. I'm not too worried. He's got some mobility. When he's moving, his eyes are downfield. Out in front of his wide receivers. Getting some air under it. Anning throw lasers like he shows you there. So he's throwing the ball with some touch. He's got some touch on his throws. And there it is. I like getting the faster sample. Because you'll see things one way. And if it's minutes. After you see the other thing you're looking for. And you're seeing a bunch of other stuff. And you're trying to do the content on top of that. And this is your live reaction. Then it's really hard to do. But I got a good assessment on him. One thing I like about him. Is he's got a lot of touch. He'll moonball it if he needs to. If he needs to put a little air under it or he'll zip it. It really depends on the situation. Doesn't sound like a big deal, but at the high school level, even at the top end, that's a that's a big deal. He does not lock on to any of his targets. You're watching his eyes. They're moving around. He's locking on to players, locking on to safeties, trying to manipulate them to create more separation on the back end. You're seeing that happen. You're seeing him keep his eyes downfield while he's on the run. He's very poised in the pocket. He has some mobility. He's got arm strength. He's not going to be confused with DJ Lagway or anything, but he's got some arm strength. He's got accuracy downfield. He pinpoints it pretty good, but he's a very fast decision maker. As he's scanning the field, once he sees the guy, it rips out pretty quick. He also has a quick release. That's what I like about his game the most because he's smart, he's cerebral, and he can act on it very quick. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button on the way out. I want to thank you for watching. Catch you on the next video.